What's going on everybody? My name is C4. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're here for episode 32 of our Madden 24 Arizona Cardinals franchise mode where it may be a little premature, but our goal is undefeated. I've never done undefeated in a franchise mode, let alone on all Madden. I think my best record on all Madden probably would have been like our last year with the Panthers in Madden 23. And I think we had... I think we went 13 and 4. I feel like 13 and 4 is the number I keep coming back to. I try to think of like what is my all time like main franchise record. And obviously, after that, we went on and won the Super Bowl. Still very early. 6 0, a somewhat common start for a good team. Way too early to be like, you know, maybe get back to us when we're 13, 12, 13 wins if we can get to that mark. But that's all we're going to really kind of mention about it. Knowing that that is a goal, that is a target of mine. Um,. Because we, we can't look that far ahead. But what we have here today in our matchup against the 3-4 and four Atlanta Falcons. A team that offensively, Desmond Ritter, is killing it. There's, there's no other way around it. As much as I like to say and look at Kyler Murray with his first and touchdowns, top five in yards. Desmond Ritter has had some huge games. And he has 16 touchdowns and two picks. They got B. John Robinson who's killing it. Sterling Shepard, late career resurgence. Eight touchdowns. On the year to go, Drake London, Isaiah Hodgins, Kyle Pitts, goddamn basketball team out there at wide receiver. Uh, on the defensive side, not overly concerning, but they do have a big-time rookie. The only player from last year's draft that I was considering trading up for. And, of course, superstar X-Factor here, the rookie out of Washington State, Angelo Richards, who is hitting the ground running as an absolute monster. It's a very tough game. I, I think this is a team that the record is a little misleading. They can put up a lot of points. We're going to be prepared for a shootout potentially if our very good defense this year can't answer the bell. But that is fine because we, we our team is built to go into shootouts as judged by our number one offense. But this is where things get very important. I think it can be said out of anything that's happened on this team. We made, we made a point about B, you know, B.J. Ojolari didn't necessarily go up dev trade um, as fast as we'd like to in relation to his sacks. But we eventually... Got that superstar dev in training, which is awesome. And then eventually you got the X-Factor based off of production. Owen oh, Popo, another guy chasing dev traits slowly but surely. I think we're going to continue to get there. Got his star dev last year. But I, I think out of all of our players, Kyler Murray is the one player in this franchise mode that has got dogged of a dev trait scenario. He absolutely needs to be a superstar. If not outright X-Factor, this year he is proving it. Coming off a seven-touchdown performance, week seven. Has he got player of the week any other week? I feel like he might have got one or two. No, he did not. Hollywood Brown did, which, I mean, also that's a huge game for, for Kyler Murray. But we have finally achieved a dev trait scenario for Kyler Murray, which is, that is the big, this is arguably the biggest moment so far outside of our playoff game last year that we're never going to talk about again. So Kyler Murray coming off a stellar game. He's in the process of taking the next step. He absolutely is. So what is our goal here? One or fewer interceptions. We have been very protective of the football this year. 350 scrimmage yards. What is the touchdowns? Four? Three? Have 350 scrimmage yards or four total touchdowns. The scrimmage yards is probably a little bit easier, especially if we decide that, like, all right, we're going to force me Kyler Murray, get him back to scrambling on the ground. One thing we haven't done this year, even going back to last year, right? We've been very conscientious of the fact that injuries are on. We suffer... Multiple injuries, it feels like a week right now. We're in a little bit of an injury strike. Luckily, it hasn't been any of our really, really good players, our crucial players. But it's been started. Roosevelt Bond's been in another lineup. Uh, we've had other guys banged up. So we, we've been conscientious of the fact that we want Kyler Murray available for as many games as possible. And when we had year one of this franchise, we had Kyler Murray go over 1,000 yards. You know, that's not sustainable, especially because he's getting up there in age a little bit. But 350 or four touchdowns against Atlanta in a game that is definitely shaping up to be a potential shootout to get Kyler Murray, his superstar dev that he so desperately needs. I need to be locked in, man. Like, this is, you know, let's be honest. Sometimes for me, it'd be like, I have no idea what I'm to upload today. Ah, let's just go, let's go record some, some Cardinals franchise. Now that we're 6-0, now that I have a break for Kyler Murray, like, I'm going to have to, I got to go warm up. I'm going to, I'm going to do some of the training drills, get my mind locked in. I have to show up every single episode because I want to try to keep this undefeated streak going. I want to try to get Kyler Murray, his freaking superstar X factor. We also get to set our national scouting focus. This is where we're going to get the most information for the upcoming draft class. And we are going to set that for, I'm, I'm buying into tackle, even though it's not, um, you know, I'm going to say a little bit fake news 
that left tackle's a strength because this draft class doesn't have the quantity, I think, to justify it necessarily being a strength. But if there's a really good tackle, I do think the successor to DJ Humphreys at left tackle uh, is certainly a position I want to look at in the first round. So we'll double dip in there to make sure we have all of that ready to go. Uh, but this is going to be a gigantic matchup against the Atlanta Falcons. How do you want to shut them down? Well, Desmond Ritter throwing a lot of check down. So we're going to defend the short pass. Take that away. And also, obviously, going to be conscious of the fact they got Bijan Robinson in the backfield, who is a very, very good running back. The defense for the Falcons, not particularly good. Medium and short passing. Uh, you know what? Usually, we just take the check downs. I'm going to push it downfield a little bit, because obviously, we have the goal here for Kyler Murray to go up dev trade. So we're going to work on throwing it medium. I'm going to get in, do a couple of these drills just to warm up, get the brain going so that we can continue. We can get to 7-0. We can get Kyler this dev trait. Time for practice, though. Archibald picks up an injury. That's awesome. Already down for Hotel War. Whew. All right. I'm sure this is going to be uh, not the end of our winning streak. So we're down Rondell Moore. We're down Steven Archibald. We're down DJ Humphrey, starting left tackle. And we're down our starting pass rusher, Boogie Basham. Okay. All right, let's go, fellas. I, I, I got feeling in my stomach. I don't know what it is that this is going to be a rage fest that we've yet to see here in this Cardinals. I don't know why. Maybe it's the injuries. Maybe not. Maybe, maybe, maybe all's going to be fine. Maybe our talent's going to rise to the top here. Ojalai, we're going to handle Bijan. We're not going to let Kyle Pitts take this game over. I just got a bad feeling about what we're about to experience together. As you know, one of my favorite plays is bring a linebacker blitz. Gabe thinks we're going to blitz. What we're going to do is we're going to try to double-team Kyle Pitts here. Hey, we did a good job. Get off the field. Tyquan Thornton. We got uh, Michael Wilson. Stepped up during the preseason. We got the rookie Hilliard. 6'5 with a dev trait. But let's be honest. It's going to be probably a lot of Marcus House and Hollywood Brown. Let's go Hollywood. Right there. Wide open. Breaking ankle. Oh, did he ever? Oh, my God. No. That would have... Oh. I don't even know what that goes down. And Michael Wilson got hurt. What does that go down as, though? Does that go down as a passing touchdown? Did we just cost ourselves a passing touchdown trying to stun in the end zone there? We did. That is like a fumble recovery. Oh, my God. No, that's stupid. See, like, that's something. There's going to be, like, one thing that will cost us right there. Oh! What was that? What was that throw? He tried to go for like the... I mean, I get it. You got to get the ball up very, very quick with our pass rush routes. BJ's Ojolari is going to eat you alive. But it's like he tried to throw something automatic there to Hodgins. And that was on a rope to Marco Wilson. Pick six. Not helping the scenario. Look at that, man. What a terrible throw. There's no other way to put it. Holy shit. I mean, not helping us for the breakout, but... You know, I'll be honest. I'll take the win over a uh, superstar dev. Is that the right take? Would you guys... What would you rather take? The keep down defeated streak alive or get Kyler a dev trait? Oh, my God. Give me another one! What the... F what? Desmond Ritter's Desmond Rittering this. There's an injury. Oh, no. Injury to who? Kenny Hodges? You have to pick at what cost. Man, a lot has happened very early. We got the touchdown that isn't a touchdown. We got two picks. Both of them, honestly, terrible throws for the most part. Dislocated finger for Kenny Hodges. We'll sub in Marco, and if he comes back, he comes back. Like, didn't Ronnie Lott, like, rip his finger off and return to a game? What are we talking about here? Third and three. Boom, right there. Taekwon Thornton. Got a lot of speed. Damn. Not gonna be, 
Won't be the worst game if we can't establish the run. I just don't know what, what we got. Stick and nod, maybe. Honestly, I, this is one we just said. You just said house straight. Throw that over the pass rusher. There we go. There's one official. I don't, like, again, that's, that's not going to be a passing touchdown, right? That first one. That's a fumble recovery for a touchdown. I don't know how that's going to go down statistically. So let's just, here we go. There's one. And we are somehow up 21 nothing. Oh, look at that. That's backup. Play for the injured Boogie Basham, Cam Thomas. Big time sack. Third and 15. This defense. Heard the heard the rumors this game might be a shootout, and they said, uh uh. It will not. Even if we're down Kenny Hodges. Ah. Oh, he's back in. Let's go. And there's Sterling Shepard, the surprising go-to weapon for the Atlanta Falcons. Almost 10 touchdowns on the season. He's going off pretty gingerly. But also, big shout out Kenny Hodges popping that finger back into place, getting out there. Absolute dalk. Boom! We use your fucking fall. Let's go, Zayvon Collins. Smashed the shit out of that guy over the middle. I was a little worried. I was like, you know what? Let's, let's just throw a hit stick here. See what happens. I usually go for cut blocks. Look at this. Hit stick. Zayvon Collins smashes that guy the next week. And that is three costly turnovers from the Falcons. At least that one there felt like we earned that one. Mapletron. Ooh, that's a ball. Your house breaks a tackle right away. You can't be you can't be offering little arm tackles on the best receiver in the league. Boom. Touchdown. Number two. And this is turn. I mean, hey. Atlanta has enough talent that they could score quickly if we get a little cold for a little bit. But they have dug themselves into it. It's a ridiculous hole here in the first quarter. Let's go, Milton. Let's go, Milton. It's over, man. This game's over. Don't turn it off because we got to try to get this dev trade, but Atlanta doesn't have the offensive line. They don't have the quarterback to compete with us. All right, we got third and five. The Hilliard, the rookie. Six five hidden dev rookie. Interesting. He could be the chain mover here if House gets covered up. Nope. House is wide open. Middle of the field. Tough catch. Holds on to it. Let's go Mapletron right there. Boom. Oh, God. One more tidy. We're pulling Kyler. Man, there's, there's, there's nothing they can do, man. There's... How, like, these are the exact same difficulty, exact same sliders. Haven't touched a single thing from the playoff game that we got at, like, 40 to whatever. Super uncompetitive against the Panthers. But our, our team this year, man, we got that formula. We got that magic formula that just, magic. All right, couple runs did not work out particularly well, so it sets up third and long. Yeah, I'm just trying to just be conscientious. No picks, no stupid picks. And look at this. Off the line. Hollywood, Brad, we got our touchdown. I mean, that's just, that's a terrible matchup. Clark Phillips, really good corner, really slow. And you're putting that man press against 97 speed. Like, Clark Phillips is one of the slowest corners probably in the NFL. Like, 88 speed, 87 speed. Well, Kyler's now a superstar, Dev. We're going to yank him out here. Actually, you know, he can throw a pick. So I feel like maybe keep him in until he throws one pick, and then we'll yank him. As much of an ass whooping. Holy shit, dude. This is rough. This is rough. I feel bad for them at this point. I feel Falcons fans probably sick and tired. Like, we're still three years in. Desert Ritter's the only thing we got at quarterback. Go, good grab house. We're going to no huddle. Try to cheese another passing touchdown here. And cheese we do. Third and seven. Be 
keep patting the stats here. I mean, we got seven touchdowns last week. Let's try to get eight this week. Money plays. Don't give a shit. They're not better than us. There's touchdown, what, six? Oh, there's a hat trick. Oh, Jolari, another guy trying to go break his sack record. He's gone. He gone. A little bit of a fan favorite in the channel. Calvin Austin. Who needs Roosevelt Bonds? It's a good one-two punch. You'd think it's more so because Calvin Austin is the slash to the smash. But it's reality is he's just good when the daily Roosevelt Bond injury happens. Man, look at that. I'm just we're simmering this one out. We're getting picks left, right, and center. It's uh, an ass kicking. What well, the biggest ass kicking all year? Those games, I'm always like, do I just restart? Like, not even upload this? That's how uncompetitive it was. This is all Madden with Mr. Hurricane and Matt Ten Sliders. The most consensus way. To play default, not try hard, all Madden on this platform. And that is back to back weeks of elite play from Kyler Murray. We are going to earn a dev trade. 66 to 9. Five, six turnovers for the Atlanta Falcons. Four picks for Desmond Ritter, one forced fumble, one turnover on downs. And we, you know, I mean, we took our foot off the throat the second half. Look at that, man. We were up. We got 17. We probably we kind of probably could have went for like 100 if I wanted to. Just different different species of teams this year. 330 yards. We needed 350, which we did hit with Kyler Murray had 30 yards. So we hit 360, so we hit on that. We needed four touchdowns. We hit on that. We got six. Honestly, we might be able to spin this into another week of dev trade. We might be able to get Kyler X factor. But that is just, uh, Kyler Murray's playing the best football of his career. The running, they couldn't stop the rush. Roosevelt Bonds obviously gets hurt, 85 yards. Buck 21 and a tutty there for Calvin Austin. Uh, 76, two touchdowns for House, 101 for Claypool. Austin had two touchdowns today. Hollywood Brown going for a buck 20. You know, we did use the screen pass a little bit to cheese a couple here. But look at, I mean, the defense. 12 tackles, TFL, and a pick from Zaven Collins. We got three TFLs, four sacks from Ojolari. Sack for Milton. Sack for Cam Thomas. Two picks for Kenny Hodges with a broken goddamn finger. Pick six, Marco Wilson. Dominant. Let's reap our reward here. Breakout for Kyler Murray. Dominant performance. Another huge game. He is, what, 13 touchdowns in the last two weeks. Did he? I don't know if he threw a pick before, but... Very much deserved. Kyler Murray, finally a superstar. I think we should probably get a little XP boost there with that. But after two ridiculously dominant performances, you know, do we do we need to do we need to look at I, I personally don't want to touch the sliders. I know obviously right now it's an ass cook and it, it might get a little boring if it's this every single week as we continue our win streak. But this is the exact same setting. That we lost. Had a crushing loss last year in the playoffs. So do we need to... I mean, I haven't checked to see if Matt 10 Sliders has any any bit of a buff. But again, not a lot of like... You know, when you look at what we got here, we made it harder in most categories outside of pass coverage. We did just get picks, but our picks are low. That pass coverage is buffed. So that the opposing team CPU just doesn't have those automatic completions every single time. So that's why you nerf the interceptions so that you kind of have that little bit of balance. But everything else, I made the, I made it harder to run the ball. We nerfed us uh, the fumble a little bit. Everything else, just default all Madden. The CPU, accuracy again. This is just to combat maybe the pass block go up. But the, the number one thing about all Madden is that you just... There's no amount of me wanting a challenge that I just want every quarterback, regardless of rating... Going for 85% completion percentage. So, like, that is the number one thing. If I'm playing on all Madden, and we do want to revisit the sliders, I'm not in any way, shape, or form buffing the opposing team's quarterback accuracy. I'm not doing it because that is what makes all Madden not fun at all. When it's just like, oh, we're going up against 72 quarterback who's going to have 85% completion percentage. No different than we go up against a 98 X Factor Patrick Mahomes. 
Pass blocking's nerfed. You know, the same punishments on cover. I don't know. I, maybe I do need to look and just see if Matt Ted maybe tweaked his sliders here a little bit. If it's been a minute. And if that is the case, uh, we will. that's how we'll kick off the next episode. Actually, you know what? While we're here, let's do it right now. Let's do it right now. All right. These are the most up-to-date Matt 10 Mr. Hurricane sliders. I'm going to screenshot this. The All Madden. Look, he even buffs the reaction up even more. Pass coverage has been nerfed a little bit. Okay. Couple things here. Let's see what this does. Right, let's update these live. See where the, the discrepancy. A lot of these are going to stay the same. But we have pass defense reaction time up to 75. Interesting. Interceptions at 35. Pass coverage goes down to 50. Tackling down to 50. CPU skill, it's 42, 35, 48. 20, 49, 50, 35, 48, 50. Okay. Uh, injuries. Obviously, I like where my injuries are at. Fatigue. I like where my fatigue is at. Speed threshold. Yeah, they have theirs at 48. I like mine at 45. Offside, 85. False start, 85. Holding up to 95. Interesting. Face mask, 40. Defensive pass interference at 40. Illegal block in the back at 50. Roughing the passer up to 45. All right, so we got a couple nerfs, couple buffs. This is now the most up-to-date Matt 10 sliders. We'll see if that can contain. And like that's what I was rocking, though. For the like 98% was what we were rocking. If not, that was outright just the most outdated uh, Matt 10 sliders. We'll see if that uh, adds to the challenge. But we're going to need a whole lot more, I think, than just what we did to those sliders. I'd help the squad out. So, hey, we do have an injury picking up. Uh, Michael Wilson, three-week foot fracture. Kind of sucks, to be honest. We have, uh, you know, our depth is getting tested immensely right now at wide receiver. And we rolled into another breakout. So we are going, and it's a one-in-six Browns team. Hellball, we got a breakout d lineman. That'll be for the next episode. That's going to be a huge one with two potential breakouts. If I had to guess... Dude, I don't even know. Who, who had a huge game on the defensive side of the ball? But there we go. Kyler Murray and... O I mean, it could just be Ojolari, even though it's a dead trick scenario, just for him to get XP. But we get offensive and defensive player of the week in a dominant victory over the Atlanta Falcons, which it needed to be, right? They they get they get a good sim team. That wasn't sim. We played that one out, and we absolutely embarrassed Desmond Ritter. We contained B. John Robinson. I don't even want to say we contained B. John Robinson. B. John Robinson never had a chance. They got so far behind in score... They just couldn't really run the football, had to ban the run, and try to win on the arm of Desmond Ritter. And trust me, first per people you ask are Falcon fans. If that is their method to trying to win a game, it is not going to yield a lot of victories. But we're going to close this episode out with our brand new superstar. I don't want to say X Factor because I don't want to jinx it because we're going to roll into the next episode with that. But Kyler Murray is outstanding right now. 229 yards passing, 25 touchdowns to two picks. He also got uh, another one on the ground, 100 yards rushing. Does have four fumbles. Slightly concerned with that, but I mean, how is that stack over the rest of the league? I'm going to say top five in yards. I don't think there's someone's more touchdowns with us. So for yards, he is third in yards. He has five more touchdowns. Jared, I mean, that's outstanding for Jared Goff. Back in L.A., what a storyline that is. And he's at 20 touchdowns to two picks. All right. You know, five, a five touchdown lead is pretty damn good, but Jared Goff, not too far off the mark for the fact that, that is still freaking Jared Goff. Great scheme. They got Puka Nakua, Cooper Cup, got some weapons there. But for my money right now, there is not a better player in the league than Kyler Murray. And we're going to have to hope that we can continue that for another week as we chase that superstar X Factor. But we're not going to get too greedy. In today's episode, Kyler Murray, now a superstar. Start of the episode as a star. That is all you can ask for. I mean, look at the 
know, we get the plus fives from the offensive coordinator and the throw power. So 93 throw power, 89 deep, 92 mid, 95 short, 93 throw on the run, 91 break sack, 89 throw under pressure, 92 speed, 94 acceleration, 90 agility, 90 change of direction, 86 juke move. He's a cheat code. This is an S tier quarterback. And he, we're, what we're seeing is what the ratings are telling us. So that'll do it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. It's always your first time stopping by. Don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. We'll have a quick turnaround because I want to see if we can get this guy up to an X Factor. So I'll see you before too long on another episode of our Madden 24 Arizona Cardinals franchise. Till next time, though, it's your boy C4 saying peace out. Love ya. Have a good one.